This is the SAU Report, a program featuring interviews with the faculty, staff, students, and alumni of Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. Welcome to the SAU Report. I'm Lisa Stegall. Today we have Corey Childs, Darla Williams, and Chris Lee joining us who are members of the Students and Free Enterprise Organization here on the SAU campus. Thank you for joining us today. Um, tell me a little bit about yourselves. Darla, what are, what's your major and what's your role in SIFE? I am a senior finance major, financial planning major. I am currently the president of Students and Free Enterprise. Chris? What's I'm a senior marketing major from Marshall, Texas, and I serve as the technology specialist for SIF. And Corey? I am a senior finance major seeking a certification in financial planning, and I'm from Magnolia, Arkansas, and I'm currently the treasurer of SIF. Okay, so are only business majors involved in the SIF organization, Darla? No, actually right now we have a psychology major and we have had different uh, biology majors and several different majors in the past. What is the purpose of SIF? Chris, can you tell me a little bit about it? The purpose of SIF is to promote a free enterprise system, uh, the free market economy. Uh, we want to try to make sure that we kind of stay away from the dictatorship type of role of government and try to just let it be a free market. Um, Corey, what does SIF typically do from week to week? Um, from week to week, well, we meet every Thursday, and uh, we have numerous projects that we work on each each week. And um, each member is assigned to, to chair one of these projects, and so we ke we're kept pretty busy, and we work on our projects week to week, and that's what we do. That's what we typically do. So you assign members to chair projects. Are there uh, officers in SIFE? Um, yes, we have. Um, Officers, our officers are normally appointed. Um, for instance, Darla Williams, our president, as we've said, and Dr. Scott Bellamy is our advisor. He's also our Sam Walton fellow, and I am the co-treasurer along with April Hall, and Donna Jo May is the communication specialist, and Chris is the technology specialist. And so um, there are officers, and we're all appointed. You mentioned the Sam Walton fellow. Uh, Darla, what is that? Sam Walton Fellow is essentially how SIFE was set up. It was developed uh, by Walmart Association, and Sam Walton Fellow is the person at the college that represents SIFE. Okay. What is the SIFE Advisory Board? Chris, can you tell me what? The SIFE Advisory Board is uh, composed of members in the community, their area of business, men and women. Uh, they come to our meetings. Well, we offer each meeting that's open to them to come, and they can come and kind of just advise us, give us some advice on real-world experiences that they have uh, faced and things that we might face. So, Darla, have you found that community support has been real, real good here in Magnolia? Yes. Actually, we are always able to get our projects advertised or published in the newspaper, and uh, our advisory board is made up of 15 community members that are uh, officials in uh, some of the larger companies in town, and they're always happy to participate and help with all of our projects. How does SIF raise money, Corey? Um, well, the main way we raise money is we have an entrepreneur project, and this project is designed to help SIF students learn about starting their own business. Um, our SIF team, along with the help of Ms. Darlene Tickle, will be offering a degree framing service for graduating students and alumni. And if I can take this time to plug that, I will. <laughs> Mr. Jerry Johnson and the art department were commissioned by us to develop a, a picture of Overstreet Hall and the Bell Tower, and so it's a very good picture. And um, this print will be framed along with um, your degree, any graduating senior's degree or alumni member degree, or you may purchase this picture alone. And for more information, just contact one of the SIF students you see here or other SIF students or call the SIF office at 235-5152. Okay. Um, does SIF ever do things in other departments here on campus, Darla? Yes, we do. Actually, we pride ourselves in taking part in the activities sponsored by other organizations. One good example of this would be the Bolathon that took place last fall, sponsored by PBL. Two SIF teams participated in the competition. We came in second in raising funds for this 
competition, and I think that we came in second as far as team members winning. Hmm. How is SIFE different from PBL, Chris? SIFE is different from PBL in a manner that we kind of promote the free enterprise system uh, in a way. We're kind, of, we're kind of real close related. A lot of SIFE members and a lot of PBL members are involved uh, in both organizations. So we kind of just, kind of just flow over to each uh, organization. So in much mm -hmm. events, it's where a lot alike uh, and then rather than different. So PBL is just uh, FBLA at the college level, is that kind of? That's correct. Is Scythe ap active through the summer months or just throughout the school year? Actually, we are not. And, and if you knew all the hours that Scythe put in, you'd realize that we need a break during the summer. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of times we do not have the same members that return the next year because uh, Scythe is an honors program. You're usually invited to be in Scythe, Scythe by the professors. The pro professors uh, make suggestions to the a SIFE advisor on who would be good to participate, and a lot of times that is seniors, so they will not return the next fall. So, um, is SIFE membership kind of restricted? Is it, or is it open to anybody really that wants to join, Corey? Um, in the past, it has been mainly an honors program, mm -hmm. but we're t we're trying to open up our membership to more members. So we we would do it like to encourage all business majors and non-business majors to join SIFE. It's it's completely open now. How much time does SIFE take? Is it something you're involved with every day or once a week or you know, once a month, Chris? Our SIFE team members, basically it, you, you get out of it what you put into it. Uh, a lot of our SIFE members uh, work after hours. Uh, they work, they go to school. A lot of our SIFE members work along with school. So it's kind of like any other organization. It's what, you know, you get what you put into it. And, and uh, we take pride in, in our SIFE team and, and we put a lot of time into it. So. Darla, could you tell me a little bit about the small business workshop that's going to happen April 10th? Actually, this is uh, one of our projects that's being co-sponsored by Farmers Bank, which is also on our advisory board. We're offering this to help teach people in the community how to start their own business, all the steps involved in starting your own business, what the, the cost will be, what the uh, red tape or paperwork would be involved as part of this. This is also a fundraising project for SIFE. We will, the cost of the project is $25. The person conducting the seminar is Mr. Larry Kincaid, who is the former director of the Small Business Development Center here at Magnolia. Uh, he has volunteered his time to do this and will turn all the uh, proceeds over to SIFE to pay for other SIFE projects. You mentioned starting up a small business. Um, what's your, what do you think most people expect to get out of SIFE as far as, do you think they'll go on to start a small business or is that just a... Probably many of them will. Uh, I think you find in SIFE that a lot of people that are in SIFE are, have an entre entrepreneurial spirit about themselves. They really uh, have a lot of leadership skills and a lot of personal drive. So I, I know that uh, a past member, Beth Ann Rankin, was a member of SIFE and she now owns her own recording studio. Corey, I know you're um, involved in Success 2000. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Um, well, all the SIFE members participated in this, but I co-chaired this with April Hall. And um, this project was held in conjunction with SIU's Continuing Education Department. Um, students were brought in, or adults I should say, were brought in from the Magnolia Adult Education Center to attend this three-hour course. And the students, they were taught the basics of Windows 95 and the Internet by Chris Lee, myself, Mr. Sam Ogle, Darla Williams here. And um, every participant received a certificate for their hard work. And the, um, some members even said that they were no longer afraid of the computer after taking this class. So we really think we reached out to the community and helped them out a lot. What is the Make a Difference Day project? Could you tell me a little bit about that, Chris? The Make a Difference Day project is sponsored by USA Weekend Publication. And basically, it's a, it's a national uh, 
organization that you set out and see what, how you can make a difference. It's one day set aside, one Saturday set aside to make a difference in someone's life. And what we did this year, we had over 50 participants from the community and students and uh, the entire business faculty participated in this and they participated in setting up mock interviews or helping out wherever we needed help. Um, Fifteen members of the SIF Advisory Board also helped out either by donating uh, uh, items for door prizes or by uh, doing, uh, excuse me, mock interviews too. Uh, Twenty-one SIF members participated in this event. Uh, either by planning or implementing anything in this. Uh, I want to make mention here uh, some of the retailers who participated uh, either by donating or uh, giving any of their ideas on this. Uh, Roos, Jennifer's, Lois Jeans, Bruce's Men's Store in Camden, Stage, Talbot's, The Rainbow Connection in Camden, and Walmart, along with Brookshire's and Smitty's. They were also uh, made some donations. Our overall objective of this was to teach job-seeking skills to community members. Uh, we entered this Make a Difference kind project uh, through the USA Weekend competition, and also the SIFE has a national Make a Difference Day competition, which we entered, and uh, we've already placed uh, in the top 15 of 75 entries. And we were awarded $500 for this, so it was a great accomplishment. Wow, that's great. <coughs> Do you did you conduct special workshops for that? Yes, we did. We uh, did a workshop, a career workshop, where uh, people would come in, they would fill out a job application, mock application. Some of the things they would go through each day is that, you know, if they go mm -hmm. for a job, uh, they would fill out those applications, then they would go to a mock interview or through okay. our advisory board or faculty. They would go through and fill out and go through the process. And later we did a fashion show and uh, <coughs> it turned out real good that we got to uh, model some. Cory was a model, Darla was a model. We got to uh, model our uh, merchandise from the area businesses. So it was real great, great success. We hope we made a difference in someone's life. Well, <laughs> what does SIFE do with the Chamber of Commerce, the Student Chamber of Commerce? The Student Chamber of Commerce is sponsored by SIFE. Uh, it teaches the benefits of the free market economy. And uh, the SIFE Chamber meets once a month with the Magnolia Chamber of Commerce with uh, Miss Mary Twitty and the other members of that uh, chamber. We discuss the local issues uh, on bettering the community. Uh, we're able to observe those business professionals make important decisions too. So it's a great opportunity for us to even network with those. So we really enjoy it. We also have the opportunity to uh, attend the 60th annual chamber banquet, which uh, Ray Stone was the guest speaker, who's the voice of the Dallas Cowboys. So it was very interesting and we had a really great time. Most people here on campus have heard the phrase, good business is good business. What exactly does that mean, Darla? Good business is good business refers to using ethics in business is always good business. How is this promoted, Darla? This year, we, <clears throat> we used several different channels to promote this. Uh, the president of SAU and the mayor of the city of Magnolia signed a proclamation proclaiming the week of February 22nd through 26th, Good Business is Good Business Week. We also sponsored a quarter of a page ad in the newspaper, which was paid for by our SIF Advisory Board, which uh, proclaimed Good Business is Good Business and promoted ethics in the workplace, school, and community. Do you do anything like that in the fall semester, Corey? Um, in the fall semester, um we um, reach out to the American Enterprise class through our, it's American Enterprise, we um, go in and, and talk about ethics in those classes and it's called the American Enterprise Project, so that's similar to our good business is good business. We, we like to promote ethics during that time. And also too in the fall we have Business Day which uh, local business uh, professionals come in and also speak on uh, their experiences through, the experiences through business and we also like to to bring ethics up in the class and like have all the professors implement that through uh, through all their courses and everything so is that just during the the week of good business or is that throughout the entire year it's throughout the entire year um, basically ethics is you know what are you going to do when someone's not watching you and um, it's been taught throughout throughout all of our courses and uh, We've learned a lot from it. What were some of the key points of the speaker this year of the Good Business Week, Darla? What uh, Mr. Phil Seidenberger really point out, pointed out was ethics 
really refers back to values, and that's something that you don't teach at the college level. You want to go ahead and promote it and make sure that they're continuing what they learned at home, but this is something that you learn at home and learn when you're a young child, and you hope that you carry it on through the rest of your life, and don't let uh, competition or stress or other things take that away from you. Why is Seif interested in good business? Corey? Well, ethics um, and good business is the essence of good business. I wouldn't, when I enter in the business world, I wouldn't want to be encountered or do business with someone who doesn't have good ethics or good moral values. So I'd like to commend the School of Business and Dr. Rankin on promoting and integrating the eth good ethics and good business in, in everyday class. We don't have a class devoted to ethics, but it's integrated in all our classes. Um, how are prices for the consumer affected if uh, ethics are, are not really, if the ethics are not there? <laughs> Chris? Um, that's a very good question. Uh, prices, a lot with uh, a lot of other countries, a lot of countries, if you, if you mark prices down, there's a good chance that that, that, that consumer is not going to buy that product again when the prices are marked back up. So with, you know, in America, you know, we've noticed you have the sales, the out of season sales, a lot of different types of sales where your prices are lowered and people know to shop when those prices are lowered and then when they go back up, if they still need that product, they'll buy that product. But it basically, you know, you want to have a, a margin in there where it is ethical for the consumer. Um, how do you get the lectures to come during the Good Business Week and are they always local? Corey? Um, well, this year we were fortunate enough to just have one of our advisory board members to speak at our ethics lecture and he did a wonderful job. Um, normally they, um, the lectures are local but we're very open to reaching out to outside of the local community and if, if anybody wants to speak just give us a call at 235-5152 <laughs> and we'd be happy to let you speak. In fact, last year, Ms. Cheryl Johnson, uh, the president of the Eldorado Chamber of Commerce, was our speaker, too. So we kind of reach out, kind of stay within the Golden Triangle, but like Corey said, we're open to anything. <laughs> um, you mentioned earlier that SIF won an award for the Make a Difference Day project. What other awards has SIF won this year? Dollar. Actually, we've won second place at the fair for our information booth, and we are planning to win first place yes. when we go to competition in a couple of weeks. We go to competition on April 19th. We'll be traveling to Memphis. We'll have the opportunity to win thousands of dollars, and that's when we will receive our $500 that we, we won for Make a Difference Day. We'll also find out if we won in the top three at that time for our Make a Difference Day project and could win up to $3,000 at that time. So the competition is a pretty big fundraiser for you? It can. It usually funds all the projects during the year except for the funds that come in through the advisory board. We have a very supportive advisory board that, that, that funds through an endowment fund here at the college. And we're also going to be competing against, uh, to add to that, competing against teams at University of Arkansas, Monticello, Arkansas State, uh, a number of, of schools within the state that we're going to be able to represent SAU. In a, in a manner that, that will be ethical and that will be uh, to bring, bring home the gold. <laughs> so what, what goes on at the competition? What, what's that like? Have you been before, Darla? Actually, I have. I'm, I'm the only one that has been. Actually, we, we did take a team member last year that was not a team member but planned to be a member the next year, so she was able to, to come and see what went on. Uh, this year, we're going to Memphis instead of Dallas like we went last year, so it may be completely different. I know we're expecting to have more judges. Last year, we had a room that had about 12 judges in it, and this year, they told us to expect up to 40. So it, it's supposed to be a lot bigger. Uh, when you go to the competition, they incorporate a career fair there. They want all the SIF members to bring their resumes because if they're there because they want to hire SIF members. So, SIF looks really good on a resume, is that right, Corey? Oh yes, oh <laughs> yes, most definitely. Um, like Darla said at the, the um, convention or the competition, there are um, n a number of businesses there and corporations, I should say, Radio Shack, Walmart, Hallmark, just to name a few, and they are 
outwardly seeking uh, site students, members who, because we have been taught the teamwork skills and the leadership skills and we have learned all this already so we can jump right in and be the CEO of these major corporations when called upon. <laughs> and um, also I'd like to mention the Certified Scythe Scholar Program. That's where Scythe members who have logged in 50 hours or more during the year can get certified and, and send in their resume to Scythe headquarters and, and th that resume will be forwarded to, to numerous, over 200 corporations will see our resume. So that's a good deal. Wow. Um, how does SIFE work with area high schools, Darla? Our most recent project was an ethics project. Uh, this was uh, chaired by April Hall. We went back to her high school class and uh, Mrs. Wise's class here at Magnolia. We talked about uh, the importance of ethics in the workplace. We showed a video. We gave a little survey about to question about what students thought was cheating and what was not. And there were really a lot of borderline questions and, and we were able to let them know that when, when they come to SAU, each one of those were considered, there, were, there was a list of about 10 and they were all considered cheating. Probably half of them, the students thought, no, I don't think that's cheating. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the main, that's what we've done this spring. Last fall, uh, we planned a trip to continue our international expo our International Expo, we had over 32 international students that spoke to every business class here at SAU. And a small version of that was planned to go to the Camden Fairview area. And also, um, we, we like to reach out to the um, elementary students in town. We had a program called Chickenomics, and we, we did that along with Phi Beta Lambda, and I know no one's ever heard that word Chickenomics before, but it's just a gimmick, a ploy that we use to reach out to elementary students and teach them the free enterprise message and um, where actual chicken comes in and dances around and they have a lot of fun. We visited Central Elementary School this year and talked to the fifth graders there, and it was a lot of fun. SIFE seems to emphasize teamwork. Um, how important do all of y'all think that is after you get out of college and go into the workforce, Chris? I feel like uh, it's very essential. Teamwork is very essential. We uh, work together. I know Corey's a finance major. Darla's a finance major. I'm a marketing major. And a finance major doesn't think like a marketing major, and a marketing major doesn't think like a finance major in most instances. So this allows us, when we get out in the workforce, to be able to integrate with other majors, other people, and be more diverse, and to put together our teamwork for a common goal. So it's a great opportunity, and through SIFE, we've learned this. Darla, do you think teamwork is really important also after? Oh, I really agree. I, I think a lot of the teachers now are bringing in a lot of teamwork projects, especially in the School of Business, and that's important. But if you think about how you gain your grades and everything in school, you do it individually. And so what you learn in SIFE is really going to add to you when you go out on your career. Mm -hmm. um, SIFE recently got online. What could you expect to find on your, on your web page? Well, you, we just got recently online this past week. Uh, it was a, a vigorous uh, task ahead of us that, that we overcome. Uh, no one had really had experience with building a web page, so we several hours were put into building a web page. But now we can proud, proudly say that the web page is online, and the website is www.saumag.edu backslash SIFE. And it has links of what is SIFE, what is free enterprise, uh, has a link of our SIFE members, has each of our pictures on there. Uh, and, and, a l and a little bit about ourselves, a little bit of history behind ourselves. Uh, has a link to the school web page and also a link to the School of Business web page. And also a link to the SIFE headquarters, which is www.sife.org. So um, it was exciting, it was an experience for us all. We all participated in this and it, it was a great, a great thing we worked with. So the whole, the whole SIFE organization participated in that or was it just the the officers that did it, Corey? Well, as in all our projects, everyone has a hand in it. Everyone brings their own expertise to the table. Like Chris said, he's a marketing major, I'm a finance major. So that's that's why SIFE tends to work. We're a collaboration of, of all the majors. Thank you so much for joining me today. We've been talking with SIFE members at the SAU campus. I'm Lisa Stegall and this has been an SAU report.
The SAU Report is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.